Let's look at three real-world cases that illustrate the risk. First, on November 30th, 2018, a Cessna 550 Citation II flown single pilot and IMC with 11 souls on board was on final approach into Fargo, North Dakota. The approach was unstable, improperly configured, with accumulating ice and rising workload in low visibility conditions. Had stabilized approach criteria been treated as non-negotiable, they could have prompted an early go-around while time and margin remained. Instead, the decision was delayed. When the pilot finally attempted the go-around, the aircraft stalled at low altitude. The NTSB cited the pilot's failure to lower the flaps and maintain sufficient airspeed, the ice buildup and task saturation from insufficient qualifications contributing to an aerodynamic stall and loss of control. Remarkably, all on board survived with only minor injuries. Three very different scenarios, one survivable, the other two not, but all shared a common thread instability during go-around, degraded awareness, and breakdown in execution.